These South African macadamias and dried fruits may be small individually, but they have a big impact for many of the people working at this factory called Empire State Trading, including Maxwell Sukazi. Yeah, now I'm working there 15 years, and then it's my first job. I get it from Empire. I'm coming from on a place that on a rural area. There's a shortage of the job left side. Sukazi supports a family of seven on his income. He's packing product that will go to markets around the world, including to the United States under the African Growth and Opportunity Act, or AGOA. Launched in 2000, AGOA is a U.S. duty-free policy for eligible countries that has been credited with job creation on the continent. But the amount of product exported to the U.S. when compared to the other main markets of Europe and China fluctuates based on market demand. Peter van der Westhuizen is one of the owners of the family-owned business. The year before, uh, the U.S. Uh, you know, probably took probably 50 or 60 percent of our crop. Uh, where this year a change where the U.S. probably only took 10 or 15 percent of our crop, where the Chinese have taken, call it 70 percent of our crop. Van der Westhuizen says there are differences in doing business with each country. It's, it's completely different cultures to start off. Uh, you know, uh, payment terms, everything is very different. Uh, you know, the, the, the Chinese is you know very strong. Uh, you know, importance around relationships, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Well, I think in the U, in the U.S. it's more business-like. You know, uh, what can you offer? What can you pay? Uh, there's relationships obviously involved as well, but it's more more black and white. There are also other differences between China and the U.S. China is Sub-Saharan Africa's largest trade partner, and the U.S. ranks third based on 2021 World Bank numbers. At the annual AGOA Summit, hosted by South Africa this year, U.S. Trade Representative Catherine Tai told VOA Washington is prioritizing the continent. Yes, China's footprint in the global economy in terms of trade is enormous. We know that. That is true in many of our conversations around the world. Um, we feel very strongly that the type of partnership the United States brings and can bring is inherently different from what other partners bring. And that is why we are focused on enhancing and building on um, a U.S. partnership with Africa. South African President Cyril Ramaphosa has called on the U.S. Congress to renew AGOA before it expires, so there can be more investments and more jobs. Kate Bartlett, VOA News, Johannesburg, South Africa.